scientist, and this is Zoonology. Today we will be looking at Mustela nivalis, the least weasel. Are you looking? I'm looking. It's so cute! And deadly! Least weasels are one of many species in the Mustela genus, including, but not limited to, stoats, Malayan weasels, long-tailed weasels, black-footed ferrets, Japanese weasels, mountain weasels, and the domestic ferret. The least weasel is the smallest carnivore, the average one being able to fit into a Pringles can. Do not attempt to put weasels in Pringles cans. Despite being small and adorable, least weasels are what biologists call freaking hardcore. Oh, uh, oops, wrong pick. Least weasels, like most weasels, primarily eat rodents. But in summer, or places that have nice weather, they will prey on rabbits and hares, which can be five to ten times their weight. Hardcore. Now, a few years back, I had pet ferrets, a domestic species in the weasel genus, and when I took them for walks, I would frequently get asked if they were rodents. This is a bit of a peeve of mine. Weasels aren't rodents. First of all, look at these teeth. Now look at these teeth. Carnivore teeth? Rodent teeth. Fangs! Hardcore! But why do weasels look kind of like rodents? Well, it makes sense if you think about their niche. They specialize in hunting where larger predators are unable to go, and they can pursue their prey anywhere it goes. There is no refuge from a weasel. Hardcore! They look like rodents because they have to be able to go anywhere a rodent can. Of course, they have to be able to overpower their prey in the confined space of a burrow. But adding bulk the way most predators do would ruin their hunting strategy. Badgers and wolverines are related to weasels, and if you want to see what a bulky weasel would look like, look at them. The only way weasels can dominate their niche is to add weight and length instead of width, hence their unique, stubby-legged, slinky-like bodies. They use their long bodies and absurd flexibility to wrap around their prey and deliver a fatal bite to the back of the neck or base of the head. Larger prey such as rabbits tend to die of blood loss and shock, as they are too big for least weasels to make a clean kill by severing the spinal cord. When prey is abundant, least weasels don't eat their entire kill, usually only eating the brain. Hardcore! You might think that such a small predator would live somewhere warm, since small things lose heat much more quickly than big things, and thin things lose heat much more quickly than thick things. But as you can see, least weasels primarily live in northern areas. Least weasels that live in cold climates have a white winter coat, and are hardcore even by weasel standards. Because of their long skinny body, least weasels lose heat so quickly that exposure to frigid winter air could kill them in minutes. To combat this, least weasels rarely leave the safety of burrows or subnivian that is under snow tunnels. Weasels, however, don't dig burrows, they conquer the burrows of their prey. And what's more hardcore than stealing the home of your food? I'll tell you what using your prey's carcass to furnish the home that you stole from them. And that's what least weasels do. They use their prey's hide as bedding to keep extra warm. So hardcore. Well, thanks for watching, and remember, curiosity fed the ferret.